Hi there, lads and ladies. My name is Mr. Guest, and what I'm going to show you today is how the temperature affects the rate of reaction, or more to the point, how we can test whether or not temperature does in fact affect the rate of reaction. So, what we're going to be working with today is some hydrochloric acid. Now, this is corrosive, so try not to get any on your skin, or if you do, wash it off straight away so that you won't have to come run these horse with chemical burns. We've also got some sodium thiosulfate. Now, this isn't so bad, but when you mix the two together, it can produce just a little bit of sulfur dioxide. So don't go huffing that in, otherwise it might make you feel uh, not good. So, to begin with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my conical flask on top of the X there. And this is just preparing ourselves. I'm also going to consider my safety and it's time to glass it up. Right then, so first thing to go in there is 25 mil of sodium thiosulfate. Now I'm going to work with room temperature first, then I'm going to move up to my hotter thiosulfate. So 25 mil, in we go. There we are. And that just goes straight into there. Now, I'm not going to pour this next one straight in because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to time how long it takes before that solution goes cloudy and it becomes impossible to see the X. So that's how we're measuring our rate or our speed at which this reaction is occurring. So what I'll do is I will measure out my 10 mil of hydrochloric acid and then I'm going to get my stopwatch. And as soon as I put this in, I'm going to start timing. So, three, two, one. There we are. And now, we just need to wait for the reaction. And once this reaction's happened, we're then going to clean everything up, we're going to prepare it again, and we're going to try it again with 40 degrees. And that is already going. Fantastic. So, if we can bring this in. There we are. And that there, boys and girls, is how we're going to run this little practical. Best of luck. 